everybody. It's Carrie, Tiger Fly Soap Company. We are making some bath bombs today. I'm going to be trying out a new mold. It's a toaster. And this little toaster is really cool. It's this mold here. And it also comes with this cute little stencil for the plug-in. I don't know if you can tell. Um, to airbrush. And then it comes with these super cute little toast and waffle mini molds. And we're going to be making some of those as well. I'm going to be using Nurture Soap's Vanilla Cream. This will discolor your bath bomb, but that's okay because we're going to be making white bath bombs, but we're going to be airbrushing the toaster silver and then the black plug-in. And then we're going to use Blueberry Jam by Brambleberry for the toast and the waffle. So I think that'll be some good scent combining. Okay, so I need to get my liquids put in. <clears throat> and for this type of mold, you always need a pretty wet mix. So I add just a little bit of extra oil. Okay, so our oils are in. I'm also not going to put my fragrance in yet. I'm going to go ahead and get this blended up good. Most people blend this by kind of rubbing it between their, their hands. I can't do that because my left hand is crippled. So I just work with what I got. I'm just going to get that mixed in real good together. I've not placed my binder in here yet either. Now, I'm going to find another bucket. wanted a smaller one than this but this one's gonna have to do I'm gonna be putting a little bit of my mix not a whole lot because those um, little things are tiny I'm gonna put that much in uh, if I need to make a little bit more later for that I can I'm just gonna set that bucket aside for now and I'm gonna finish this one. I'm going to go ahead and put my fragrance in. And I'm going to go ahead and put my fragrance in the other little container because I'm notorious for being forgetful when it comes to that. So let's get this mixed up good. And then we'll get our binder put in. I chose vanilla cream because it reminds you of a, a nice warm bakery type scent and it goes with, you know, just about anything. Okay, 
Now, I'm going to spritz in my water. And I use distilled water as my binder. And I use it, it's room temp or sometimes even chilled because it's less likely to activate your mix at that when it's cooler. So you have plenty of time to mix it in without activating. Oops, flopping it all over the place. So we're at a good texture there. Let's give this a go. I want to try to put these whole embed chunks in. I don't know that they'll fit. If not, I'll have to just crumble them. I'm going to go around and kind of push in the very top bit because I want that to be nice and um, I want the edges to be nice and sharp. I don't want to push that in too hard. Let's see how this works. I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing. I get too into what. I'm doing. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's do that again. So we put it in our mold. I'm going to press it in so the edges will be nice and crisp. But I don't want to press all of my mix in because I don't want to end up making my bath bomb too heavy and then it won't float and give the color show we want it to have. I'm just going to overfill it slightly there. The key to these are just pressing them really good. That top just pops right off on this mold. Look at that, they're just coming right out. That one has a slight, oh no, I was gonna say a slight crack, but I got it fixed. And if you have problems with a lot of cracks in them, it's mainly probably because of your embed and I have resorted before to either not putting an embed in that type or using a crushed embed. bigger table guys perfect these are going to be so darn adorable Keep losing my top, guys. Okay. 
this one is easier to work with than I had thought it would be. I also thought I was going to have to crush my embed, but I wanted to try it without first, and I'm glad I did because it's working out just fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to make a couple of the little pieces for it really quick. The little um, waffles and pieces of toast. And I think I'm going to make that mix blue so I'm just going to add a hit of blue lake to it A super pretty blue okay let's see how these tiny little guys work out these are itty bitty Move this so you guys can see. There we go. A little crumb there, but it came out just fine. <clears throat> Those are going to be a little bit more tedious. But, and maybe I'll figure out better ways to get them done, too. Get them out of this little mold. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Did that. Get 
we go. There's number two. Now let's try some of the waffles and see what happens. it's easier to knock it when it's still in. Ooh. Okay, so the bottom came out. Oh, yeah, we got a waffle. See my, see my little waffle? I'm gonna make these. <clears throat> oh, yikes. It won't stay in my hand. Popped out for me. I'll make one more of these and then I'm going to finish these up really quick off camera. And then <clears throat> tomorrow, once they're hard, I'll bring you guys back and show you the airbrushing. Now what I'm doing is just, I know you can't see my table small and everything, but I'm just kind of holding it up slightly and giving it, you know, like this and giving it a slight pound and it's just coming right out onto my sheet perfectly. All right, I'll bring you guys back tomorrow for the airbrushing. All right, we're on day two. to airbrush these bath bombs. Need to fill my gun. I just have my and I I didn't get my little Poor pitcher, so I'm going to be a mess here. I'm just using a neutral gray. This one is Nurture Soap. Neutral gray.
And in this mix is just the mica and 99% rubbing alcohol. Now you can also use 91 if you can't find 99. But don't use 70 because 70 will activate your balm. It has too much water content. And then I try not to handle these until they fully dried. So there's, whoops. Just lift it up from the base. So there's our silver toaster. And then, alcohol through my gun really quick to clean it out a little. Okay. Yes, I shot some out the side. I need a napkin. Paper towel. Messy. Sorry, I'm a mess. Okay, now I'm just going to mix a little bit of black. This is one of my alcohol, rubbing alcohol glasses. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of black because we're going to do our plug in. Mixing my rubbing alcohol with my black mica. Give it a little stir. Disperse it good. I'm going to add my black to my airbrush. I'm going to make sure I ran. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Now I'm just going to hold my stencil up. Actually, I'm just going to prop it up to it there. And there's our plug-in. Now that's my first time doing this and I'm not an airbrush expert by any means, but I think that looks pretty cool and I'm sure I'll get better at it as I make them. So here we have our toaster and our little blueberry toasts and waffles have 
also dried and this is our finished product uh, I want to pick it up but I don't want to pick it up there it is our cute little plug-in I really like these they turned out great Thanks for watching. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera because I think once you've seen one, you've seen them all. But thanks for watching. Make sure you give us a like and click your notification bell. That way you will be notified when we are doing videos. Thanks a lot.